Hey YouTube, thanks for coming out to the channel today, guys. We have, uh, I've had a few issues with microphones lately. I have broken one, um, had a backup. Uh, when I was in the hospital, I had to get another one to use because of the way we had to talk in there. So I'm gonna do some comparisons, an open boxing and a comparison day. A little bit different video than what you normally see from us here on the channel, but stick with us and uh, give me your opinion. We're gonna do some real life comparisons here and. Uh, maybe there'll be a difference between them. Maybe there won't. And maybe I'll be able to tell it. And maybe I can't, but maybe you guys can. So stick with us and tell me what you think at the end. All right. So if you've been following our channel, you notice we were in the hospital. I had to pick up a, um, to keep the audio down when I was in the hospital with Angela, keep my voice down where you guys could still hear it. I picked up just a, it was an inexpensive set of, it went around the neck and had a little earpiece. Bluetooth uh, headphones, a mic, which is what I picked that up, and it served its purpose. And I, you'll probably still see me using it, using it in my last video as well with the uh, the one that uh, I was talking about, our new animals on the farm. But our last one or a couple back, whenever this one comes out. But when I got home to go back to using my normal mic that I had in the past, well, uh, it was broken. The stand was broken. The mic's still there, but the stand was broken. And I had another mic, a backup mic that I've had for quite a while. And uh, we're gonna try that out. We're gonna put it on today so that you guys can see the difference of the quality. Right now, I am just using a iPhone 10 X or an iPhone X uh, Max, which is the iPhone 10 Max and the normal speaker that comes on the iPhone 10. Uh, starting today, we're going to use, we're gonna switch to the Rode Video Micro. I wanna say it was $39.95 at Best Buy. Not real sure, it's been a while since we bought it. Well, let's do an unboxing here real quick. Let's see what we look like here. I have a dog jumping on me down here. So you might hear me talking to her. Rufy, get down. All right, so very simple. What comes with it? You've got the, this is the stand. This is the cold shoe mount that uh, is pretty standard. As you see, you've got the square tab. The square goes up here, it mounts into the top of the phone mount or the camera mount that you have or your camera itself. The mic itself, you can snap it or slide it into here once you spread it out. I'll do that here in a minute. And then you have the cord that goes from here and plugs into, I have an adapter that plugs into here and makes it work on the iPhone. Or if you have an Android or your camera, it'll plug directly into your camera, providing it has that jack, which most of them do, do these days. This is an important feature to have on your mic. A lot of external mics, there's the mic itself, the Rode mic. All right, inside of here, inside of here, there is a black phone piece, very similar to what's used on all micro microphones. Not sure if it comes out of this one, but a lot of microphones and many mics that are sold come with just the black phone piece that goes over these. This is the most important part for on these Rode Mini Mics and the ones that look very similar to the Rode Mini Mics. This piece, the hairy piece for lack of better word, the furry piece, that is what blocks your wind. So make sure it gets mounted on there, it gets mounted on there good, pull it up tight. That's what blocks your wind, folks. That's what you want for outside filming. Something that blocks the wind. Stick it in there. Stick it on like this. There's a spot right there. Clicks into place. We'll take this out of the wrapper, plug it into here, put my adapter on, and plug it into my iPhone in this particular case. All right, guys. When I went inside to get the adapter for the Rode mic, you can see it's right here. Um, let me show you the difference between these. This is a very good mic that I got. This is the aftermarket mic I've been using on most of my videos since way back. Um, the problem with it is that the cold shoe mount broke off the springs. You can see the difference in the mic. The Rode mic has a beefier and springier, a lot more give in it, a lot more play in it. You can see this is a much smaller, very good quality mic, much smaller. See, Rode. And this other one is a Movo VXR10. I just call it a Movo Mini, but it is a VXR10. But when I, I'm going to use this in the car, in the comparison so that you can hear if there's a difference. Again, I've never used the Rode Micro Mini, 
So this is the one I've been using. I'm going to use it in the comparisons here in just a few minutes. But this is a very good mic. It has, there's the Movo tag again. Uh, it has the shoe on it as well. You pull it off, it looks very similar. You can see the differences. I mean, it looks very similar. It has the mic on the end just like that. It picks up from all around. The, on the inside, it feels very similar. Just wanted to show you, all this is a good quality mic. Um, I cannot remember what the difference is on prices. This was the first one that we bought. And I had the other one there. Like I said, we bought it for a backup, and now we're going to start using it. Uh, we'll probably plug one in. I've got to get a new one of these cold shoe mounts. Uh, I can either get a generic one or go back to Mobo and get one from them. But uh, it's a good one. So I suggest that you guys check out the price difference uh, in both of them. may very well leave links to both of them down in the description below. The... Again, this thing right here, this reason is the reason I'm not using the old microphone. I need to, I can order another one of those, and I will, so I have a backup, and I can keep one on my camera and one on a second one here on the phone or whatever I want to do. But if you notice, look at all the play that has. The way the wind can blow, things can do stuff, and it doesn't affect things. Um, it has a lot of play. It's not rigid, so it doesn't break as easy and keeps a lot of noise out of the mic. All right, so I'm going to mount the, the mic back up on here. I'm going to plug it in while we're talking to see if you see an immediate change while we're talking. Then we're going to do some tests. So it is unplugged. The Rode Micro Mini is unplugged. It is now, I'm plugging it in. It is now, it is plugged in. So it is plugged in now. Let me swap over to front facing. All right, guys, we're going to do a couple testing, one, two, three, so that you can hear the difference, if there is a dis difference. And I'm sure we'll hear it, but... Right now, I am talking on the Rode Micro Mini microphone, testing it out. Let's do Rode Micro Mini, testing, one, two, three. Rode Micro Mini, testing, one, two, three. iPhone internal camera, testing, one, two, three. iPhone internal camera, testing, one, two, three. Movo Mini, testing, one, two, three. Movo Mini. Testing one, two, three. We're gonna step back a little bit farther. We're now, the first one we were approximately two feet away. We are now approximately four feet away. Road, micro mini, testing one, two, three. Road, micro mini, testing one, two, three. iPhone, internal microphone, testing one, two, three iPhone internal microphone testing one, two, three. This is the Movo Mini testing one, two, three. The Movo Mini testing one, two, three. We are now approximately 10 feet away. I'm trying to keep my voice at the same decibel level. So this is the Rode Micro Mini Testing one, two, three. This is the Rode Micro Mini. Testing one, two, three. This is the iPhone internal microphone. Testing one, two, three. iPhone internal microphone. Testing one, two, three. Movo Mini. Testing one, two, three. Movo Mini. Testing one, two, three. All right, guys, back on the internal mic on the iPhone 10 Max here. Uh, do not have the Movo plugged in or the Rode plugged in, but um, hopefully when I go back and review this and edit this, the um, I'll be able to tell a difference. Based on the propaganda, you know, the media, the big hype, I believe I know which one will be better, but maybe that's just propaganda. I've had good luck with that Movo. Um, believe I'll have great luck with the Rode, and again, you know, I had good luck with these when I was in the hospital, even though we didn't review these today. But uh, let me know. Leave me a 
leave me a leave me a um, comment on what you think's the best. And remember, guys, listen more than anything when I was doing the actual testing, the testing one two three, the testing one two three. That's when I was trying to pay attention to keep the volume of my voice the same, the settings the same, and the distance from the mics all regulated on the different mics. So we appreciate it. We love you guys. Like, subscribe, and stick with us. Appreciate you. Hey guys, if you want to see more from us, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell and see what we have going on. We love y'all.